What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Tiberius back again with another video and today we are going to take a look at this rubber buckshot from SMB. A few weeks ago I was on the interwebs talking to my friend George. George is the owner of a local gun shop here called Rhode Island Guns and Ammo. Uh, they posted on Instaface that they just got some rubber buckshot in from SMB. Um, and I said to George, what exactly is the purpose of rubber buckshot, like a non-lethal crowd control type thing? Uh, and George said, you know, I'm not really sure. Why don't you come on down, grab a box, and you can test it. In the name of science, of course. So that's what I did. I went down there, grabbed a box, brought it to the range, and tested it in the name of science. Uh, and I must say, I expected the rubber buckshot to hit a lot harder than they did. Again, I knew nothing about rubber buckshot before I took it to the range. And while I didn't expect it to hit as hard as like uh, buckshot or anything like that, I definitely expected it. I expected the rubber buckshot to hit harder than it did. Uh, you know, I was hiding behind barrels. I had my vest on just in case. I was a little worried for ricochets. Uh, it does say that these can be lethal within 25 yards. Um, but I think that was a little overkill, uh, no doubt. And you'll see what I mean when we roll in the range footage in just a second here. Um, but uh, overall, I'm going to say I wouldn't use these for any typical type of self-defense role. And you're going to see exactly what I mean uh, right now. So we started off with a half inch piece of bulletproof glass and... When I say it did nothing, it did nothing, not even a dent. It's kind of what I figured, but I heard the rubber buckshots bounce everywhere. Moving on to something a lot more realistic, we went ahead and shot a half inch piece of drywall, and as you can see, kind of just bounced off. It barely made a few dents in here. Definitely didn't go through. These, uh, these rubber buckshots definitely don't hit as hard as I expected them to. This is my tribute to Hickok 45, trying to smoke a little pot, and I noticed the rubber buckshot doesn't pattern very tight. Next we moved on to a can of spray paint and some water and as you see here it just kind of bounces off the bottle of water and doesn't even break it. So I decided to line the whole wood up with different things because it's it, the shot was spreading out so much and uh, hoping just to hit something. Um, and the funny part is I'm actually aiming at the uh, top of the wood and even though I'm aiming at the top of the wood I'm hitting the tops of the uh, soda bottles that are sitting there so I found that kind of surprising and that's about the only good shot that I got all day kind of goes downhill from here so I started shooting that watermelon and the uh, pineapple there over and over and over and I thought I was missing and if you look at my body language I'm a little aggravated because I'm thinking the buckshot is spreading out so much and I'm missing but it actually wasn't it was hitting the watermelon and breaking the the rind the outside of the watermelon a little bit but it wasn't breaking it open or really going inside of the watermelon as you can clearly see here in the picture so as you can see I was not overly impressed with the performance of the rubber buckshot don't get me wrong I definitely do not want to be shot with it I'm sure it will hurt but I expected them to hit a lot harder than they do. Uh, what do you guys think? Is this exactly what you would expect from rubber buckshot? Uh, any other uses that you could think of uh, besides like a non-lethal type crowd control thing? Uh, drop a, a note in the comments if you can think of anything else. Uh, one more time, let me thank my friend George at Rhode Island Guns and Ammo. Again, he donated this box of SMB rubber buckshot to the channel for us to test in the name of science, of course. So thank you very, very much, George. As always, if you think I deserve it, please hook me up with those likes. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. This way you get notified when we come out with new videos. If you feel like doing any of those things, they really, really help us out. And I greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Peace.